What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked up ladder with this Arctozolt Hail team used by my boy Hype Sauce, who actually won our first weekly tournament over on my Twitch stream. So guys, if you guys have not known, every single Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am doing a viewer tournament on my live stream. So link will be in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. Like I said, Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every single week, the winner of the tournament, I will actually showcase their team on the YouTube channel. And Hype Sauce won the first one, so this is the team that he used. I actually won the second one, which is pretty hype, so we do not have a team for this week, but I might actually use the runner-up team. But on this team, like I said, we got Arctos over right here. We got Gyarados over here as well with D-Dance, EQ, Waterfall, and Bounce. Normal move set for him and that Intimidate with that Mystic Water to actually help out with that Stab Water moves. We got Alolan, Nine Tails with that Focus Sash with that Snow Warning as well, so we can set up the War Bell. Has Moon Blast and Blizzard for Stab. We have Meowstic down in the bottom right corner who is an awesome Prankster Pokemon with that Wide Lens so we can actually land Thunder Waves a lot easier. He has Rain Dance as well to help out the Gyarados and Rain Dance to actually help out the T-Waves land more often. He has Fake Out and Psychic as well. He is an absolute beast. Meowstic can actually control tons of matches. We got the Clefairy as another support mom just to take away some damage and to uh, distract the other Pokemons. And then in the final spot, we got ourselves our weakness policy to round down with Flash Cannon, Protect, Thunder for coverage move, and Draco Meteor for big old stab damage. This team was amazing. Hype Sauce absolutely ran the tournament. He lost, I think, like the first one, went to the loser bracket, and just went off after that with this team. So I'm actually very hyped to use this team. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Match number one coming at you guys. This guy has a Braviary team. I can see that thing being a life for Braviary, so that's a little scary. It's Conqueror also with that Rotom, Mimikyu, Arcanine, and that Tokus. I think Alolan Ninetales is a solid lead here. I can go into Blizzard or set a Roar Veil, and then Meowth stick in the back with the Fake Out and the Thunder Wave. Bring in Arctos ult, right? That's looking pretty solid right there. That's looking pretty solid. He can't stop the Fake Out. He has no Terrain Setter, so... Fake out can pop out easily, and then we can wide lens start going out with some T waves. And then in the final spot, it's either Gyarados or uh, the Raladon. Who should I go with? I mean, Gyarados has all his coverage moves with the Quake, he has the flying. Uh, the Rotom kind of poses a huge threat to it, so I might just go with the Raladon just for that reason. And then the Raladon can handle that Mimikyu and that Togekiss. And then we have the Max Form win for the attack drop for the Conqueror and the Previarity. Yeah, I think the Rowdown is definitely the safe call. But yo, let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. I don't know if I really talked about Arctosol in the beginning. I'm not too sure. I know I mentioned him, but his moves are Bulk Beak, Low Kick, Blizzard, and Protect. He rocks out so strong. He has that life where we can do some big damage. Bulk Beak can actually just destroy tons of different Pokemon. So if I can get T-Waves around, I can play the coverage game or not the coverage game. I can control the match and then go out with a Bulk Beak where Arctosol will be able to outspeed a lot when everything's paralyzed. But he's probably gonna Dynamax. I really do think he's going to Dynamax that Braviary. And I'm gonna set the Roar Veil. So I'm going to fake out the, uh, I'm gonna fake out the, oh, what's it called? He, I think he's gonna Dynamax the Braviary, right? Do I fake out just, just in case? Do I fake out him just in case? Or is he gonna Tailwind set and then go from there? Hmm. I'm gonna fake out the Brave Yard. I'm gonna go for the fake out on the Brave Yard. Watch, I didn't, I didn't trust my guy. I didn't trust my guy. He's gonna Dynamax him. He does not, yo. Good call by me. Last second change. So we fake out the Brave Yard, and the Roar Bell gets popping. All right, beautiful. We set the, we set up this Roar Bell. What's he gonna go for? Probably a T-Bolt over on my, uh, or a Nasty Plot. Let's see. Volt Switch. Okay, he's gonna Volt Switch out over on my Meowth Stick. That's perfectly fine by me. So now that we know that Brave is not really doing too much, I might not even wanna Tailwind that, or, or uh, T-Wave that. I might just T-Wave whatever Pokemon he brings in here and then throw a Blizzard out. But the Roar Bell sitting beautiful, sitting beautiful. I just gotta start pestering people. Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave. Just controlling this match, like I said. But beautiful, beautiful. Nice start for this game. He goes Arcanine. I'm totally cool with. I think I'm gonna paralyze that Arcanine. For sure. Oh, show. Sure. Because he poses a big threat onto my uh, Zolt. And he's probably gonna set up a Tailwind here. So I'm gonna go Blizzard in the T-Wave. We'll roll from there. Hopefully, we can get a freeze. Okay, that could be wonderful. Everyone's taking buffet damage. What you want, fool? So, let's go Blizzard, doink that, and then uh, go for that T wave over on the Archipoo. Over on the Archipoo, because Archipoo could pose a big threat as he is fire, and he might be a Dynamax mod. Could be. Usually, Arcanines are support. I usually like to play mine as a support mod, but every here and there, you'll find a Dynamax Archipoo. Let's see, and here comes the Dynamax. Is this the Arcanine? Is this the Arcanine? Yeah, it might be the Braviary to be honest with you guys. But I wouldn't be uh I wouldn't be uh surprised if it's the Arcanine. 
It is the Braviary. Dude, we should have T-waved the Braviary. What do you want? I knew he was coming up big. I knew he was coming up soon, sooner or later. Like, for sure, dude. So I gotta get a Paralyze on that thing. I for sure gotta get a Paralyzing on that. We might try to take out my Ninetales here. Let's see what happens. Here we go, C-wave. Yoink. Send that over there. We gotta get one on this Braviary. We have to slow this thing down. Tell it to knock it off. Get out of my face. Because he's just gonna airstream and boost up. Let's see. Blizzard comes out here. Yoink. Show me a freeze. Give me a freeze. Give it to me. Give it to me. Big freeze. Big freeze. Nope, we triggered this thing's policy, bro. This thing's policy. Go after my, uh, go after my uh, Alolan Ninetales, please. Go after my Alolan Ninetales. Steel Spike comes out. Yeah, that's Twitch my Ninetales. That's fine. I'm cool with it. We go down to our Sash. We're not going to buff it. Um, I wonder what that Arcanine's going for. It goes outward. That's, that's type nice. That is type nice. Oh, is this thing going to guard? Would this thing guard? If we survive this round, oh, Snarl's going to take us out. Pretty smart. All right, so Snarl takes us out. I'm going to T-wave up on that Braviary and then um, go into the Zolt. I think I Dynamax his ult. I could Dynamax his ult and get running from there. I could totally see this in guarding. Actually, maybe not. What do you think is going to happen? Because Zolt or Duraldon? I say I got to Dynamax his Zolt. Zolt is just such a huge mon. Here. Such a huge mon. Uh, I'm going to get the Electric Turing rolling. Yeah, we're going to Dynamax him. Do I go into the Braviary? This, this is the call. This is the call. It's like, what do I do here? I'm definitely Dynamaxing. I'm thinking I go into the Braviary. But I think he thinks he's gonna, I'm going to outspeed him. Hmm. Or he might just try to waste my turn to get a burn on me. That's why I think he's going to guard. You know, I'm not going to second guess myself. I'm not going to second guess myself. I'm going to take the simple play here. He's probably going to guard, to be honest, but... Yeah, I was going to switch at the last second, saying he, he's guarding, go after the Arcanine, and then just double into him. But if he, but if we read the guard and he doesn't go for the guard, he can just take out my uh, Draco Zolt easily. And then she's like, bro, not my Draco Zolt, my Arc Zolt. So I might as well just post a threat onto it, as that Arcanine can put a burn on me, but that's about it. Let's see what happens here. He does not go for the guard. Beautiful, dude. So, Braviary is going to go down here, because we're going to be able to outspeed it, just take it out easily. Paralyzes are coming up clutch, but yo... Like I said, think simple. Think simple. Like, especially in Pokemon, like, most of the time, you, you were going to lose your matches because you were overthinking and not making the simple plays. Like, I was going to overthink there and send it a different way, but I was just like, no, I got to make the simple play and uh, just pose the threat to the Braviary. And it ended up working in the end. Most of the time, the simple plays do end up winning you the matches. Like, that probably is going to end up winning. But there we go. We're going to lose some HP. Is the Willowist going to come out here? No, he's going to go straight for a Heat Wave, which we're going to eat up just fine. We're going to eat up just fine. I can take out that, uh, that what's called? Whenever I won that Arcanine. He's really not posing a big threat right now. As he has Heat Wave, he might have Will O Wisp. That might be the only thing I'm scared of. But by the time I take out that next Pokemon, we should be chilling here. So who, who'd he go for? He went out Braviary. Who'd he lead? He led Braviary and Rotom. That's who he led. Um, I could go into a Lightning, which is exactly what I'm going to do against the Rotom. And then I'm going to uh, try T Wave it. Yeah, I'm going to T Wave that thing up. Oh, can I T Wave this thing? I'm actually not sure. So I'm just going to go for a Psychic over on the Arcanine. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Can we paralyze a Rotom? I don't know. I think we can paralyze a Rotom Heat. Or not Heat. Oh. Wash. Thunder Wave comes out. We cannot, dude. Oh, my God, dude. I always, like, I always, like, mistake myself at the last second. Like, so many things that like, get in my head. Like, oh, whether I should make this play or make the other play. But it's okay. We get this out. And we do just want to tap it up. I want to get the T-Wave on that. Oh, we get a crit. Oh, we. We get a crit. But the reason I want the T-Wave up. Up was slow that thing down so it couldn't get a hit off and then we just take it out. Heat wave comes out, we should be able to eat it up again. And hopefully you do not get the burn. Do not give me the burn. Bruh, dude, this game trash. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. We took out his uh fast mines. The Meow stick goes down. Um, who do we have in the back? We just have Duraladon left, right? Should just be Duraladon. So I know we outspeed that Arcanine. And it what's his final mine? What's his final mine here? The it's our Duraldon. Yeah, it's our Duraldon. Shiny boy. And he goes Conqueror. Okay, so we totally got Speed Advantage here. 100%. 100% got Speed Advantage. And I'm going to go into... I think I got to go after that... Uh, I think I got to go after this Conqueror, right? Yeah, we're going to go after this Conqueror here. Drop that. And then go after... Actually, we got Electric Train. I'm going to go... Let me go back. I'm going to go Max Lightning into the Conqueror. And then I'm going to... I think I'm just going to drop a Flash Cannon. Nope. Go for a Thunder. I'm gonna go for a Thunder over on the Arcanine. Going for a Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Mach Punch comes through. Can we eat? 
<laughs> Bro, what do you mean? Mach Punch takes me out. No. Dang, dude, we're playing this one good, too. Dude, Conqueror is so good. He's too good. Thunder comes out. Yeet. Can we KO here? I don't think we're going to win this one, even if we KO. We do not KO. Dude, whack. Whack, and his berry comes out. No. Yo, GG to this guy. This match was actually really good. This match was actually really good. To be honest, Snarl comes out here. He's going to drop my attack. Oh, wait a minute. Your boy avoids it. Your boy avoids it. And, dude, he's just going to rock me with a Dream Punch. Warvel's gone. Mm -mm. Bruh, bruh. So, Thunder's definitely going to have to come out here again. We're going to take out this Arcanine. Hopefully, we land it. Does Electric Terrain help boost the accuracy of these, or is it just rain? Or is it just rain? But dude, this is tough. He's going to go Drain Punch. He goes, he reads my deck. Yo, nice play by him. And the Drain Punch or Close Combat, whatever he's rocking, should be able to take me out. Probably Drain Punch. Block, dude. He just blocked me hard. He just blocked me hard. Gyarados probably would have been the better call, I ain't going to lie. But Drain Punch comes in here and bang, yo. GG. Dang, dude. I thought we had that game. I thought we had it. The Mock Punch came out at the perfect time and picked him up the W, guys. But let's hop into match number two and try to get a win with this team. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Sandstorm team with a T-Tar Extra and a Tessarine who can actually block first turn priority moves such as Fake Out. But I'm still going to go into the Meowstic and I think I'm going to go Gyarados first turn because I can Dynamax, set the Rain Dance and roll out from there. And then I think I'm going to go, uh, we go Zolt here. I think I'm just going to go Duraludon and maybe have Clefairy in the back end. Roll out like that. No Zolt in this game. We chillin'. We chillin'. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm trying to go for a big old win here. Get slapping up. Try to go battle number two. Make ourselves get at least a tying record right because we're 0 1. First battle, we took the L on that one. Loser jeans right here. But we're going for the win. We're going for the win. Who's he going to lead here? I think he might lead T-Tar or something along those lines. Topikiss and who's Monopotopia? It's extra. So he might actually swap into the... Uh, the what's going on? That's what I think he's going to do. I think he's going to swap into the... Uh, I'm going to fake out the, the extra drill here. I'm going to fake out the extra drill, And if he swaps into the T-Tar here, I'm going to just throw a geyser out. I'm just throw a geyser out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to go uh, fake out over onto... You and then I'm gonna drop a guy. Here. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw a guys here. I ain't playing around. You might actually go follow me. So do I D dance here? I'm gonna D dance. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop a D dance here in case he goes for the swap. Yeah, here comes the swap. Oh, from him. From him. Okay, I thought he was gonna go Toga Kiss swap. And he brings in the Rotom, which is totally fine. So fake out comes out here. Imagine if I would have faked out that uh, Toga Kiss. What's that Toga Kiss going for? It doesn't mean that's fine. I'll get the D dance off, which I'm totally cool with. The D-Dance is popping. Gets a crit, dude. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face. Get a crit on me. Here comes the D-Dance. So, we got the speed advantage. Um, I think I'm just going to set the rain and get after it. I think that's the play. I should be able to outspeed now. And a uh, follow me actually might come out. This is tough. This is so tough. I don't think I Dynamax. I think I just set the rain and I roll from there. He's definitely going to go for a follow me. Mm. I don't even think I set the ring. I think I go here. I'm going to go T-Wave here. Because I know I'll out to be. I think he's going to follow me into like uh, something else. I think I'm just going to bounce up. And I'm going to go on the token. It's just a waste of turn from this guy. Let's see what happens. He's Dynamax. Now hunk of junk. Who's he Dynamaxing? He's not maxing that Rotom or that Togekiss. Ooh, both scary, both scary threats. Don't be the Togekiss. It's the Rotom. Okay, so Rotom's definitely coming after me. I think he's going to follow me into the... Uh, I think he's going to go follow me into the the Max Lightning. But I'm going to bounce. I should be able to outspeed it as a plus one with the Dragon Dance. And we should be able to pop out here, get a nice little T-Wave on you. Yeet. And then we bounce and we saying, yo, we're out of here. Please show me this thing goes for follow me. That would be nice. We use bounce first. It's just not going for a follow me, so we're gonna yoink, we're gonna yoink out of here. See you later. See you later. Go for a max lightning, yo, yeah, yo, get out of here. We dodge that and a dazzling beam. Oh no, he's paralyzed, yo. Let's get it. Let's roll here. Um, hmm. I don't want to set the rain for him. I really do not want to set the rain for him. It's only gonna benefit him. And I think I'm going to double up. I think I'm gonna double up here, cause I can't paralyze that uh, Rotom. I cannot paralyze that Rotom. No paralyzing Rotoms here. The bounce is coming down. Yo, how much damage are you gonna do? Not bad damage. Can the paralyze pick up the KO? Show it to me. Psychic, not the paralyze. Can the, the psychic pick up the KO? Show it to me. Do it. Yes, sir. Okay, so Toki is going here. Max Lightning is going to take out my Gyarados. And we wasted two turns. We wasted two turns. Unless he's going after Meowstic. Okay. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. You can go after Meowstic. That's totally fine. Do I bounce again? 
I could bounce again. What do I want to do? I I have the speed of it, so it really depends what Monty pulls out here. It really depends what Monty pulls out here. I'm gonna pull out my Duraldon. He's gonna get the Dynamax here. The Duraldon's going to get that big old Dynamax. I can drop Steel Spikes. I can do whatever I want, and then I can get Cook Fairy in here and potentially run everything with the Friend Guard. Or I could save Gyarados for the back end, depending on who he throws out. He throws out Titar, um, which is totally fine. I feel like we can one shot that Titar. The Sandstream does pop. Okay, so we have Sandstream up here. Definitely got to go into a Waterfall on this thing, but definitely Dynamax and go into uh, Wormwind or Steel Spike. I said we go into Wormwind. We have to. We got to go into a Wormwind over on you, and then we got to drop a Waterfall on you. Because if we actually land this Waterfall, if the T-Tar doesn't protect, he's dead. He's dead. Maybe I should have bounced again. Maybe I should have bounced again, but... No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think he thinks we're going to bounce. I think he thinks we're going to bounce, and he's going to try to uh, redirect targets. So if he thinks I'm going to bounce, he's not going to protect the T-Tar. So if he doesn't protect the T-Tar, it's, it's done. Yeah, Waterfall should be able to come in here, clean it up, plus one, physical, super effective stab, just big old damage. And see, there we go. There we go. Protect us to come out here and boom. How much damage are you doing? Like I said, he's gone. Like I said, he's gone. Get him out of here. No bounce this round. And I think he's going to throw maybe the darkness or something over on us. He goes for lightning. Is it on the Gyarados side? Okay, it is on the Gyarados side. That's totally fine. But he did not protect, which I'm cool with. Now I can get Clefairy out here. I got Friend Guard. I got Follow Me. I got Helping Hand. I got all this good stuff. I got all this good stuff. I got After You. I can put on him so we can actually go first. We can actually roll out here and do some big old work here. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how much damage we're going to do, first of all. I think it's a 2v2 situation, right? Here comes a 1 1. Boop. Do some big old damage. Not bad. And I could go for an Air and just take that thing out. But his Dynamax turns are gone. His Dynamax turns are gone. Get him out of here. The road time's kind of low. We'll get Fairy out here. Look at that. After you, look at all these moves we have with it. Like, I can just follow me and buff up. And just buff up here. The Fairy. Fairy. And then his final mine is going to be that extra drill, which is totally fine. Which is totally. Actually, dude, the ground moves are scary. The ground moves are so scary. Hmm. The EQ or the high horsepower can do big old damage here. So, I'm going to go here to drop that. And then I think I just go for a follow me. Yeah, have a. Uh, have uh, Clefairy soak this one up. Because we'll go for a warm win. We should be able to take out that Rotom. Unless he protects. We'll see. But I don't think he's going to protect because he knows he has the speed advantage. But the reason I'm bringing that over here is so the high horsepower doesn't hit my drought. Friend Guard coming out here. Yo, let's go. Clefairy coming in clutch. Get it. Evo light it, baby. Extra Joel is speedy here. He is speedy here. He might be Sansion. EQ comes out here. Oh, my lord. I totally forgot this thing could have been running EQ. E! Leave me alone! d not eats that up just fine. Thanks to the Friend Guard, dude. Friend Guard coming out good, and the weakness policy triggers. The weakness policy triggers. That is wonderful. And then this thing goes for a Dark Pulse. We'll eat this one up. Just dandy. Look at that. Mm, dude, that's a tasty snack right there. Down goes the Rotom. Minus one onto the extra drill. And we're looking good. We got one more turn here in this Dynamax form. Now, one more turn. So, I got to make it count. I'm probably just going to send another Wormwind just to drop his attack once again. And I think I just go Helping Hand here. I think I just go Helping Hand, to be honest. Because he's probably just going to EQ anyway to neglect the follow me. So there's no point of even going into the follow me. I'll just go helping hand help out with some damage. Everything's not very effective. So we might as well get the attack drop. Helping hand popping. Let's get it, yo. Let's get it. Looking good. Looking good. Unless he gets like a mega crit or something. But he's minus one now. And he's about to be minus two. Here comes our EQ. Yep. Follow me was not the play. And beautiful. We made the right call. We made the right call. And then I go for an after you if I really want to. Let's go. One, one. Yo. Oh my god, not very effective with that policy. Beautiful. We are chilling just fine. Just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sash is popping out here. He's Sash, but he's minus two. And I can just go after you, and we can end this one up. Do I drop Draco Meteors? I think I just play it safe and go with the higher accuracy. Flash Cannon. With the Flash Cannon. Right? Let's see. Flash Cannon's a hundo. All we need is one hit, so we're going to go Flash Cannon. And then after you, come here to Raladon. After you, big dog. After you. And we're going to take match number two. This off this seem pretty well. Wait. Oh, no. He's not Prankster. Never mind. After you does not come in clutch for us. Both of our mons survive, though. Both of our mons do survive. I usually think after you has the Prankster, but the Raladon's just faster in general. But <laughs> GG anyway. That was fine. It didn't even matter what move we went into. Didn't even matter, really. GG. One and one with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record with this awesome hail team. 
Going up against a Sandstorm team for the third and final battle. I feel like I've been seeing Sandstorm all over the rank ladder today. All over. It's been insane. But he has Hippowdon and the T-Tar to set the Sandstorm. But nobody has Sand Rush. He has Gengar. He has Gengar maybe to set like Trick Room if needed. Or it could be a G-Max Gengar to be honest. Which could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. But no need for a low nine tails if he's just going to go into maybe like a Sandstorm on. I think he's going to go into what's called turn one. I think he is going to go into uh, Hippowdon turn one. So I'm going to go... Hmm. Definitely go with Meowsic. Meowsic is a nice, strong lead. I think I'm going to go Gyarados, drop that Intimidate off on whoever comes out here. He has no Defiant or Competitive. And then I think we go Zoltan. We go Zoltan in the back end. And then, uh, do we go Ninetales or do I go the Rauna? Hmm. Hmm. I think I go Ninetales. I think I go Ninetales just way in the back end. Just in the back end, no lead in it. And then we get rolling out from here because we have the Gyarados and we have the Zolt for big attackers here. And we're going to leave the Duraldon and Clefairy out of this situation. Let's get it. One and one. Come on. I want this win. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. I want to go two and one with this team. Hype Sauce absolutely rocked out with this team in the tournament. Like, dude, he ran some things. I feel like this team has a high learning curve now. I feel like it's a little tough to learn because when I first started playing it, it was, it was, it was tough to kind of like get things rolling with it. But he goes Gengar and Hippowdon. This might be a G-Max Gengar. I'm thinking it might be a G-Max Gengar here, but I'm going to paralyze it, and I'm just going to roll out into a, uh, a what's it called? I'm going to roll out into a waterfall. I'm thinking it could be G-Max Gengar, so I'm definitely just going to roll out into a waterfall. Maybe try to make this thing flinch. Something along those lines, or I could change the weather. Or I could... No, nah, I'm going to go into a T-Wave over on the, uh, him. He's just Ghost-type. Is he Ghost and Dark? Or no, he's Poison. He's Ghost and Poison. He's not Dark. He's not Dark. I'm not going for the fake. I'm going for the T wave. I'm going for T wave over on you. We're gonna slow all you down. Um, then I'm just gonna rock out into the waterfall over on the hip out on. Do a little bit of damage on it. This thing might be Rocky Helmet. We'll see. But he is gonna Dynamax. Is this a G Max Gengar? This could be cool to show off. G Max Terror, so we cannot switch out. That's what it does. Let's see what it is. Is it G Max? It is, yo. It is. Look at this thing. Ready? Yo, comes right out from the ground, yo. This thing looks dope. I just wish this G Max move was a bit cooler. It's G Max Terror, so when he hits it, we cannot swap out. We cannot swap out. Let's see what happens here. The Paladon's going to protect. Ooh, what a smart play. What a smart little biscuit play. Nice, nice, nice play for him right here. T-Wave comes out here. We're going to slow down this Gengar, dude. He looks so sick. He looks like an amusement park, like, entrance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Waterfall gets blocked from that awesome protect from the Paladon. And he's going to come out with a G-Max Terror on my Gary. No, my Meowstic. Meowstic, eat. Nope, Meowstic does not eat. But he does get a Paralyzing. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, that little thing. We can no longer escape. But no one can swap out. No one can swap out. We we slowed that thing down. I think we go into the boy here. Do I go into Zolt? Or do I change the weather here? I say I change the weather. And save the Zolt for the back end. I'm gonna change the weather, get an war bell up here. And I'm going to uh do I throw a uh waterfall? Or do I D dance? How are we gonna roll out? We have that paralyze. The paralyze is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. I gotta start uh, putting some pressure on this. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go a War Veil, and then I'm going to drop the Waterfall. I'm going to drop the Waterfall. He might actually swap the Hip Out on. Let's see what happens here. We're definitely dropping the Waterfall. Dude, G-Max Gengar coming in here. He looks so sick, dude. I love him. I love how he, like, grabs the ground and he pulls himself up. Like, dude, it looks awesome. Look, look at him from this angle. He looks hilarious. <laughs> Big mouth. His tongue must be getting dry. And he has a cool little, like, mohawk with spikes in the back end. See what happens. A Roar Veil gets popping. Yoink. I'm going to be able to hit off this uh, waterfall. Is this a Rocky Helmet? I wonder what item this uh, Hippowdon's for. Let's see this waterfall. Yoink, it's probably not going to do too, too much. It did a decent amount, but this thing is a defensive bulk beast. Gengar's paralyzed. Yo, let's get it, yo. Big old paralyzed coming in clutch. And Eon's going to pop out here onto my Gyarados, which is cool. He will just uh, probably protect next turn. So I'm going to throw a Blizzard. But I am going to throw a Blizzard and then throw a waterfall over on the gang. Because I think Blizzard should be able to take it out because his special defense is doo doo. Let's do do that hip out on. So we'll get blizzarding and it's 100% accuracy. And then I'm just gonna drop a big old waterfall here. A big old waterfall. This thing really yawned on me. Get out of my face. Evan yawn like that. Evan yawn like that. He's gonna protect, like I said, yo. That was easy read. That was light work read. Like I, I knew that was coming all day. Blizzard comes out here, block. And then we're gonna throw it over on the Gengar. Imagine if we can get the freeze. No, we cannot get the freeze. He's already paralyzed. Not bad damage, decent damage, just a little bit. Curse by Ooh, you're gonna take out my blizzard? You hunk of junk. You won't get junk. Waterfall comes out here, and oh, see you later, Gengar. Yo, get out of here. We get a crit, dude. We get a monster crit there, and he cursed body our waterfall, dude. Cursed body is OP right now. But we can't escape. We can't use both our stab It's like, yo, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Hey, okay, buff about hell. My my Gyarados is gonna go to sleep here. He was yawned on. He was yawned on. 
And I think I just Moonblast down the Hippowdon. Get that thing out the way. He does not have a Dynamax. I'm going to save it for my Zolt. My Zoltski. And who's he going to go into? That's the real question. Just stinks, dude. I'm slumped. I'm slumped. And I do not have my Blizzard or Waterfall. Like, bruh. Bruh, Darmanitan's coming out here. He's probably just going to drop an Ice Crash. Do me dirty. And I'm just going to drop a Moonblast. Hmm. I'm gonna go Moonblast on the Starmantan. I'm still okay. I'm not sleeped yet. Actually, I'm gonna protect and drop an EQ. I am going to protect and drop an EQ here. No, I am sleeped. I am sleeped. So, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna try to bounce. But I'm gonna go for a Moonblast over on you. And then try to bounce up in here. Because I cannot use. I cannot use the what's it called? Waterfall. I was gonna say, am I really not asleep yet? <laughs> Moonblast comes out here due to Lola Ninetales so fast. Nice damage coming out there. And we get the special attack drop, right? But it doesn't matter. This thing's physical. Unless it's special. Player Blitz coming out here. Um, Sash should be able to pop. This thing might go for an EQ. Sash is popping. Let's get it. Now I can Dynamax my Zolt next turn. Our man is going to take mean damage here. Mean. We are slumped. We are slumped. And what is this thing going to go for? Maybe a Rock Slide? A Slack Off. Okay. That's fine, dude. Slack Off is such a strong move. Moonblast can take out our Mantan, which is wonderful. Which is just wonderful. Buffets come out. The Darmantan can go down here. It's huge. That's huge. So I got to post this threat onto the Darmantan. Maybe make him protect something along those lines. And then I'm just going to go for another bounce. I'm just going to go for a bounce here. <laughs> Zolt's still in the back. This is, this is a little longer match. This is a little drawn out one. I don't think Darmantan is rocking protect. I really do not think he's rocking protect. I really don't. That's why I got to post this threat onto him. See what happens here. He's gonna withdraw Darmantan. Okay, he's gonna save him for the back end. He's gonna go Togekiss. That's totally fine. And I think Hippowdon's gonna take me out. But Togekiss is actually, that's a solid Pokemon for or for me. For him to have. For him to have, that's good for me. Because I have the Zolan. We're still slumped, bro. Get out of here. EQ's gonna pop. That is just going to take out my what's it called. It's going to just take out my Lola Nitos, which is fine. Which is honestly fine. I think the Cursed Body might end soon. Or is that for the whole game? And my Gyarados should be waking up just soon, and we're going to be able to get out Zoltski here? Like, yo, what you want, kid? What you want? Could go for the Lightning. Paladon's getting, taking all these buffets. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. EQ is scary. The EQ coming out from him is going to be scary, so I think I got to uh, get after him. Maybe drop a Hailstorm onto him. And if not, it will slide over to the Tokus, so that's probably the right call. Let's go Hailstorm over on you. And then... Hmm. I can't go for a waterfall. I cannot. How many turns left in that? Can I see? Is there like a cursed body turn count? Let's see. It is. Move disable for one more turn. Okay, so we can bounce. Or I can just go for a D dance. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a D dance. Because I'd rather this is what I, I would rather have. I would rather him instead of me being bounced up in the air and using bounce, I would rather have this turn come out here. We're plus run speed and we go into a waterfall and just take out that thing. So I'm just gonna go for a D dance in case we wake up. Well, I'm hoping we wake up. We've been asleep for two. What was it? Two or three turns? I think it's been two. But here comes Big Boy Zolt. We're targeting down this hip out on. I think he's going to go follow me, maybe EQ. And then I think we're going to eat up either way. We do wake up, and the D dance does pop, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. He's not going for the follow me. Find my make Gleam pops out. And Gyarados takes a good amount of damage, and the EQ is probably going to pop out here. He gets a crit. That's why. That is why. Hailstorm comes out here. We can say bye bye to Hip Out On. Get out of here, Hip Out On. And now our speed is solid. Our speed, I mean, not our speed. Our Gyarados is solid. We have plus one speed, plus one attack, and waterfalls back. Like, yo, let's get it. Let's go. He has Darmantan, which I think we should be able to outspeed now. And just drop a max lightning over on the Togi. The Togi Togi. Aurora Veil does wear off. Aurora Veil, no more Aurora Veil. And Aurora Veil was coming up clutch for us. I'm thinking Gyarados should be fastest on the field. Right? Right? That Darmantan might have been clutch move. I'm definitely going Lightning. I'm going to Kiss. Then I'm going for... Do I bounce? Do I bounce? I say I bounce. Not even going to lie. I say I bounce on this, onto the Darmantan. Yeah, we out of here. Because this Star Mantan goes after my uh, Tokus. Say we went after a Tokus and we do not kill it. That's two ways to turn so you can take me out. Like, okay. The bounce was a smart play. Yep. And Stone Edge pops out. We avoid that one. Aurora Spirit comes out here. We should be able to eat up just fine. Beautiful. We eat it up. And then Max Light needs to come out here. Take out the Tokus. Bounce will eventually come down there and win us the match. Yo, let's go. Two and one with this team. Hype Sauce. Let's get it, yo. This team is awesome. Tons of fun to play. Tons of fun to play.
Yeah, something I realize as play, like, as I keep playing this team is I start to learn it. Like, I feel like this team has a, a learning curve to it. Like, some teams, it's just you can hop on there, they're easy to play, like Trick Room teams, but this team has a little bit of a learning curve to it. But we have the balance. He's probably just going to cancel the battle. I'm just going to throw a big, fat knuckle right in his face, give him the 1-2 McGregor, 3-4 Mayweather, and there he goes. Cancel the battle. Let's get it, yo. 2-1, we pick up that third and final battle win. Let's get it. Awesome hail team right here, Hype Sauce. Thank you so much for sending in this team and winning that tournament. Seriously, congratulations. You deserve this team to be showcased on my YouTube channel. Guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to play in a tournament every Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, link is in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. If you win the tournament, I will showcase your team on the YouTube channel. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.